on our journey to identify some of the most compelling airdrops, today we have landed on one token which has a great potential of giving airdrops if you are able to stake that token. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Pyth Network token. So in this video, we are going to cover all about the Pyth Network token from where you can buy it, where you can stake it and also what is the quantity by which you want to stake the Pyth Network token so that you can be eligible for future airdrops. So with that being said, let's jump on to today's video. Hello friends, my name is Soham and I welcome you to Crypto Pulse Club. If you're new to this channel, make sure you smash up the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. And also join us on our Telegram channel, the link for which is given in the descriptions below. So guys, without further ado, let's jump on straight on to Pyth Network and let's understand what exactly is Pyth Network first of all, and then also from where we can buy it. So what is Pyth Network? So Pyth Network is the largest and fastest growing first party Oracle network. Currently it empowers more than 140 plus dApps and yes guys that is the main reason why we feel that if we are able to stake a substantial amount of Pyth Network tokens we might be eligible for future airdrops and that is why we are going to cover how to stake it in this video. So Pyth delivers real-time market data to financial dApps across 40 plus blockchains and provides 380 plus low latency price feeds across cryptos, equities, ETFs, foreign exchange fares and commodities. Yes guys, so the use case of Pyth Network is pretty pretty broad that way, right? Now, what is the price of Pyth Network? Pyth Network is currently priced at around the 32 cents mark. It's down about 2.5% in the last 24 hours. And what is the market cap? The market cap is currently just below 500 million. It is at around 477 million while we are recording this video. Now let's understand from where we can actually buy the Pyth Network tokens. Pyth Network tokens are available across multiple centralized exchanges including KuCoin, OKX, BingX, Get.io, Bybit, HTX and many more. But the important thing to note is that if you are using Binance, you might not be able to buy the Pyth Network token on the spot wallet because Binance has listed Pyth Network in the futures category but not in the spot category. So if you are using Binance then what you should be doing my recommendation is you should actually be buying solana tokens on binance and then you can transfer those solana tokens to a wallet of your choice now speaking of wallets what are the major wallets now my favorite wallet in the solana ecosystem is the phantom wallet the reason i like this is primarily because of the easy user interface that it provides and it's very easy to navigate and use now how do we install a phantom app or how do we use a phantom wallet so basically it's as similar to some of the other wallets as well so for that you need to just click on download and you will be taken to a page wherein you will be asked to what is the browser that you are using so for example here we can see firefox chrome brave browser edge now let's take for example i am using chrome so i'll simply click on chrome and i'll be taken to a new page on the chrome store where it will give me the option to add to chrome make sure once you have added the phantom wallet to your browser you also take the backup of the secret place you need to keep these things at a very very secure place guys now once you have actually set up your phantom wallet now if you are already using any of the exchanges which actually give you the option of buying pyth network you can simply go to your phantom wallet first and you can simply deposit the pyth network token there let me give the password here so here we are into our wallet as you can see so this is another wallet that i am using so what you can do is i'll just minimize this so that you can see it so you can click on deposit and you can directly deposit the pyth network tokens like how we have done here you can simply click here and you can scan this and you can deposit the pyth network tokens in case you are using binance which does not have a pyth network token listed you can buy solana and you can deposit solana for depositing solana again click over here select the token of your choice i want to deposit solana i just selected solana and then i scan this qr code or copy paste this wallet address into my binance wallet and then i will be able to get solana directly here now once i have solana Solana here what should I be doing I should be looking to swap the Solana that is available now how can I do that I can simply click on this icon over here right at the bottom and from there I will be able to swap so for example I have a few Solana mind you we should not be selecting the maximum button here this is a hack which you should keep in mind never you should actually use the max because then you will be left with no gas fees so in this case let's say i have a little over 2.5 solana so what i will do is i'll just swap about two solanas into the token of my choice which is in this 
this case the pipe network token so i just simply select pipe network and i will be swapping about two solana so i will be getting roughly about 559 pipe tokens so i just click on review order which will give me the estimated gas fees and everything that is there then i click on swap so in this interface you can see that the gas fees is very very minimal so i simply click on swap and within a few seconds i will have my solana token swapped into the pipe network token this you need to do in case you are using binance which does not have a pipe network token directly listed on a spot exchange so it's done while we are speaking this is completed now what i need to do is i need to close this and i need to go to staking.pipe.network yes the url is there on your screen right now you can see that so what i will be doing is i will be going to staking.pipe.network over here so let me just do that very quickly so right now we are on staking.pipe.network the first action that we need to do is connect our wallet so let us do that so i have phantom wallet so i just simply click and connect it directly over here now it will show me from my wallet how much pipe balance do i have so i have roughly about 700 pipe tokens so what i can do is i can select half maximum or any custom amount that i want to choose so in this example let me choose the maximum pipe tokens that i want and i simply click on stake now once i click on stake i will be taken to the wallet to validate this as you can see over here my wallet is opening up as we speak about it so here we will be just simply approving the transaction so it is just showing me that 700 pipe network tokens will be used i click on confirm so guys this is how easily we can actually stake our pipe network tokens mind you if we are staking it directly over here we will be eligible for voting in the ecosystem in the governance as well as the important part is we will be eligible for airdrops in the future as well so guys that's how easily you can actually buy and you can actually stake pipe network tokens i believe the potential for airdrop for pipe stakers are pretty high given the current scenario of airdrops guys mind you this is not financial advice i'm not your financial advisor please do your own research before you invest even a single dollar guys what is the next token that you would like us to cover in the airdrops or the staking ecosystem do let us know by commenting below and we will be covering all of that so thank you so much stay blessed stay happy take very good care of yourselves bye bye for now